Good day students. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the inner workings of value added tax. My name is Karin Kaz and I am the lecturer for Tax 3761. Almost every time that a consumer purchases goods or services from a vendor in South Africa, he has to pay a price that includes a value added tax. That is therefore a type of indirect tax and a direct cost to the final consumer, as he cannot claim the, the amount back from the South African Revenue Service. However, in certain instances, an enterprise registered as a VAT vendor may claim the VAT it has pay, paid back from source. It's therefore very critical to understand the mechanisms of VAT in an enterprise, as it has a direct cash flow effect on the enterprise. As VAT is an indirect tax, it means that the, the tax is not assessed directly by source, but indirectly through the taxation of transactions. The supplier or the VAT vendor therefore must pay the tax over to SARS, while the user or the consumer pays the VAT to the supplier when the goods or services are acquired. The consumer therefore pays the VAT indirectly to SARS through the VAT vendor as the agent. VAT is a tax on the consumption of goods and services in South Africa. Value added tax is calculated as follows. The first step is to calculate your output VAT. Your second step would be to calculate your input VAT. Step three would be determine the VAT adjustments, if there are any. And then your last step would be to calculate either the VAT payable or refundable to SARS. Now, if your output VAT is more than your input VAT, this means that your VAT will be payable to SARS. However, if your output VAT is less than your input VAT, this means that your VAT will be refundable by SARS. There are two types of registrations for VAT in South Africa. The first one is your compulsory registration. A person is required to register at the end of the month during which the total value of the taxable supplies for the preceding 12 months exceeded 1 million rand, or at the beginning of the month if it's anticipated that the total value of the taxable supplies will exceed 1 million rand for the following 12 months. The second registration option is your voluntary registration. A person may register voluntary if that person is conducting an enterprise and if the value of the taxable supplies of all his enterprises are more than 50,000 rand during a previous 12 month period or if the value or if the total value of taxable supplies of that person has not exceeded 50,000 rand but can reasonably be expected to exceed that amount within 12 months from the date of registration as a vendor or the last portion is that if that person is continuously and regularly carrying on an activity listed in a regulation made by the minister. The nature of these activities are that it is likely to make taxable supplies only after a period of time. The accounting basis. The timing of the VAT payable or refundable depends on the specific VAT accounting basis of a vendor. There are two accounting bases that may be applied by a vendor to account for VAT, namely your invoice basis and your payments basis. Your accounting basis determines the time of supply for value-added tax purposes. In terms of your invoice basis, VAT is accounted for when the invoice is issued or when the payment is received, whichever one occurs first. Now, all companies and closed corporations are registered on the invoice basis. In terms of the payments basis, VAT is accounted for when payments are made, the purchases, and when payments are received, the sales. Individuals whose taxable supplies in a 12-month period does not exceed 2.5 million rand, excluding VAT, are usually registered on the payments basis. Output tax is the tax charged by a vendor for the supply of goods or services by him. A vendor who sells trading stock or provides a service to customers must pay the VAT he levied on every transaction over to source. A person registered as a vendor levies VAT on all business transactions in respect of taxable supplies. This includes transactions with both registered VAT vendors 
as well as non-vendors, persons that, that are not registered for VAT. The VAT Act provides for two types of supplies. The first one is your taxable supplies. And they consist of your standard rate and your zero rate. And then we also have the exempt supplies. For the standard rate, VAT is charged at 15%, which is currently the VAT rate in South Africa. And on your standard rated output items, input VAT can be claimed when making standard rated supplies. However, on your zero rated items, input VAT cannot be claimed when making zero rated supplies, and VAT is therefore charged at 0%. For your exempt supplies, you are not allowed to claim any output VAT because no output VAT is charged. Time and value of the supply for value added tax purposes. Your time of supply will always be the earlier of the date of the invoice or the date of the payment that is received. But keep in mind if you are registered on the payments or invoice basis. This is the general rule. The value of your supply is either the amount of money or the open market value if the consideration is not in money, less the VAT included in the consideration. The basics of input VAT. Now, input tax is the VAT component of the payment for goods and services supplied to the vendor for the purpose of making taxable supplies. For example, a vendor who purchases stationery to be used in the making of taxable supplies can claim the VAT part of the expense as input tax. This input tax can then be deducted from the output tax in order to calculate the total VAT payable or refundable. Now, tax invoices are the driving force behind the VAT system, so no input tax may be claimed unless a vendor is in possession of a tax invoice. Now, in the following instances, you can claim input VAT. A registered vendor is obliged to issue a tax invoice only if the total consideration of the supply exceeds 50 Rand. When the supply exceeds 5,000 Rand, there are a few requirements for the invoice to be valid. The words tax invoice or VAT invoice or invoice must appear. The name, address and VAT registration number of the supplier and the recipient must appear on the invoice. An individual serialized number and the date on which the tax invoice was issued must be there. A full and proper description of the goods or services supplied. The quantity or volume of the goods or services supplied and then either the value of the supply, the amount of VAT charged and the consideration for the supply, or where the amount of VAT charged is calculated by applying the tax fraction to the consideration, then the consideration for the supply and either the VAT charged or a statement that it includes a charge for VAT and the rate at which the VAT was charged. Now this this specific part is used for making taxable and zero rated supplies. Um, in the other instance where you cannot claim input VAT is where you make exempt supplies. Remember, because you do not levy output VAT, therefore you cannot claim any input VAT.